so the point of me working out, let me stop this for a second. Because it's loud. Okay. So the point of me working out randomly, because y'all, I do not work out usually. I try in the past and then I fall off. But um, I told you guys in my last vlog that I have, no, I have an event in Dallas on October 22nd. So that's my motivation. Like I need to lose at least 10 pounds and tone up before then. September 26th. So I think I can do it. Don't you guys think? Um, so I'll show you my workout plan. I'm going to work out every single day until that event and even after because I just want to get in shape, y'all. I'm getting older and I just want to look good for myself and for my babe, for babe, for Devin. <laughs> um, but anyway, let me get working out and I'm not going to show too much of this because I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, but I'll show you my workout plan that I'm going to be doing. And I may film me doing some of this stuff, but girl... Um, but anyway, <laughs> oh, look at Devin. That's so dumb. Devin just got his car fixed. Yo. Okay. Yo, listen. I, I love my car. I was $560, though. I felt that. That's crazy. Way deep in my crawl. But Just the, from the part, the part was the part was like two hundred and some, and the maintenance is two hundred some because it's not like the conventional battery where you got a. Uh, it's like covered. It's like covered in a certain kind of way, so they got to take all this stuff apart. They told me like once you once you get a car like that, it's cool, but. When you when you pay, you gotta pay. But I am under warranty for like electrical stuff and big stuff. It's gonna cost like a lot. So if something happens with that, I'm covered because I checked. So you don't think it was something the car wash did? Um, it's, Do you think they kept it running or something? It's possible. It's possible. But, and then when we I were mean, sitting, I mean, we'll never know. And and the car wash says it's not responsible for anything that happens to your vehicle while it's in the wash. So. Even if it did have, I'm not saying it did, I'm not saying it didn't, but it's a blessing that we're in a position to be able to pay for it and, and you know, still be good. And, you know, hey, we're in a good space right now. So, you know, that's the blessing. So even though sometimes things happen unexpectedly and I bought, I bought some stuff that I didn't necessarily need and I was like, man, I shouldn't have bought this, I shouldn't have bought that, but... You know, we should vlog about that because Devin and I talk about it all the time oh, about the come up. Remember, I texted you the other day. Oh, it's yeah. like we remember not having it, and, and compared it was, it to now, time, it was times where I mean, we, we'll do a vlog on it. Don't say nothing yeah, yet, <laughs> yeah, but it, we'll I mean, be honest about it. We definitely came a long way together. And I'll just keep reversing it to make it seem like you did a lot. <laughs> Ugh, that joint hurt too. Goodbye. Bye.
jacket on. Okay. So Devin and I are about to go have lunch, and um, I need we need to get our marriage license. I used to work at the courthouse where we're about to go. I used to be the supervisor of my the civil department where we handle like divorce, foreclosures, custody, motor torts, like so many different cases. So it's gonna be funny going there. Did you close him in the door? <laughs> Huh? Mm -hmm. He cried? <laughs> We're hanging out today. When it hit him, he like rocked back like this. He said. Oh. We got his car fixed today, y'all. He said it was so expensive. Don't you? Whew, okay, I think we finally got it. If you slouch, usually you are slouching for real, and now you want to sit up straight. What are you talking about, my posture, yeah? But seriously, Devin, if you slouch, you'll be perfect in the shot. But right now, you like to slouch. Because I, because I went to the gym for a little bit today, so it made my posture better. You did. And sorry if y'all hear so much traffic because we're we're downtown, so it's like loud. Remember that SWB so downtown. Is it? Is it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Comment below if you remember that. Nostalgic right there. Oh, this traffic don't look great. Hmm? Usually it don't look this color. What is up with that? Yeah, yeah, but usually it's not that color. It's still good though. That's a weird color. Yeah, these flies need to get their life. Mm -hmm. My glasses look so good. Do they have it? You got your hair crooked a little bit. Bam, seriously, is it crooked? Yeah, they your hair crooked a little bit. Play too much. I'm a fool. Man over there, it's lost. He didn't cover his mouth. He didn't cover his mouth. Jesus. I feel like we're out of focus. Oh my god, these flies. Sorry if you hear winds and cars. I have a microphone, but it doesn't work. I have to figure it out. But the other day, or yesterday, someone commented on our our latest vlog. Because um, I struggle with the title of the vlogs. Can I have um, some more lemonade? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Um, so yeah, I struggle with titles of vlogs, but I also know that the vlog title has to be catchy 
for people to clip on it. And so when we were snapping the day of the carnival, the most comment that I got on Snapchat was family goals AF. And you guys know what that means. And I don't I, know what AF means. Family goals as F. And I thought it was cute because like I said, everybody on my Snapchat kept responding to my photo with it. I'll show you the photo that I'm talking about. So that that made me make the title Family Goals AF. And so the some girl commented, um, y'all your family is not goals because you're not a regular family. Which I didn't take it as shade, but at first I was like, What? And me, I take everything the wrong way, so. Initially, I thought it was no, shade, was but then what? it was almost like they were saying. No, but you know what? <clears throat> Since we've been doing this, I have been seeing comments about like, uh, like YouTube families are fake or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like some YouTube families oh, like yeah. create their own drama and stuff like that. And I thought that was weird. I was no, like, I don't people, think people really. Do that. No, people really do. Why? Oh, to, for, for views? Yeah, some families do it for views, but usually they do it as, they call it clickbait, oh. where the thumbnail will be something real dramatic, or the title will be dramatic, just so you'll get the view, but hopefully you stay and watch. Oh, well, I'm... No. But somebody did comment and say that we were um, fake or something, I don't know. A fake family? <laughs> no, I guess fake everything. Like, everything is staged. How? The only thing that's staged in our videos is I make sure everything does look presentable. Like, who wouldn't want that? Like, just like when people post ratchet photos on social media, like, do a selfie, and then you got trash and freaking an uh, unmade bed in the background like that's just common sense and it's respect like i make sure our house is clean i make sure the girls are presentable because we do i mean shoot in our household we do be chilling right Devin? we're not always dressed but when we're vlogging i'm gonna make sure of it like yeah. that's just all about the presentation and i don't vlog just to be vlogging like this is something i like to do it's like yeah, a she job really let me put, put on my snapchat <laughs> yeah <laughs> on my when he snaps me i'm like let me see first and if i don't look right i'll be like delete it <laughs> that's, that's but even from a man's perspective but I, like i was watching me, like when like, i have a, like, like if i have something oh. in my beard or something so like that and i see the vlog i'll be like I have something in my beard. Right. But, but even from a man's perspective with me, Devin sees me with my bonnet on, no makeup, no brows, or my dookie plaques. And honestly, I pay attention to detail anyway. Like, I'm a very meticulous I do know. detail type. But anyway, more about the girl's comment like family goals what do you think babe Devin touched on it earlier when I was in the gym or we both touched on it we started from the bottom babe from the bottom and we still not there yet no nah, but we had we had very Love. very little you know what I mean and and I think Yolanda and I both struggle with asking for help. We don't ask so, for nothing. So it's like, and me and Yolanda, I feel like we've been through enough. Like, with common law, we're, I mean, we're already married. You know, <laughs> we might as well be married. But, I mean, we just haven't taken that that step. And I, I saw the comments, and I'm pretty sure people are going to come over here and say all kind of crazy About us not being married? Yeah. But... At the end of the day, you got you have to do what's for you, and we talked about it. We discussed it, and you know, what I mean, it wasn't conventional. We had kids first, and you know, things like that happen. But um, I, I wouldn't have it any other way because I feel yeah. like 
our journey is our journey and it's unique to us and we don't fit our journey is not going to fit anybody else's lifestyle nobody else's uh timeline none of that so it is what it is man and and, and my food for thought for the day is do it on your time, not everybody else's time, because God got a plan for you, specifically for you. And when he puts somebody in your life, hence, <laughs> you know what I mean? Recognize it and, and, and move forward. But we gonna make it right. Soon. Soon, right? Right. Even though it's already right. Yeah. Just saying. But bottom line is, my message is, I don't want our vlogs to come across as we're perfect, that we you're not, not perfect. perfect or imperfect. What you mean? We ain't had no stove. You used to make me them, uh, them microwave uh, shrimp Alfredo. Oh, Remember yeah. that? <laughs> but when we had Taylor. We still had Taylor. Yeah. And, and we... I, mean, I just remember the rent was real. House. It was real, real cheap. I remember the rent was like five twenty-five a month. <laughs> yeah, like we used to try to find places where the rent was real cheap, so, so we could, we could have other. I mean, have extra money. And, uh, and and at that time, like the jobs I was doing, I wasn't making. I think when we was living there, I was working at the courthouse where we're about to go now. I wasn't making. You were still in the school system though, right? Yeah, I remember when I first started, though, I was making like ten dollars. It was like ten dollars an hour or something like. It was crazy. Right. But if it wasn't for those moments, I wouldn't be so appreciative of the things that we have now. And that's all it's about is appreciation. And again, we vlog to show what mainstream media is not showing. We're not sh vlogging and try to be all perfect and, you know, show off. Like, we're trying to uplift our own community, like, show that there are po positive black families out there, you know? Absolutely. It's family goals. We don't never get to go on. It's like a date. This is like a date. And I'm been... talking to y'all. I'm, I'm going to be on a date. Yeah, we'll have our private moment now. I'm talking to y'all. When you around, I get butterflies that never stop And I know that you're the only one I should give you credit, waiting by the phone I miss you, but this time I know the feeling I was like a sit-there after my five minutes And she was like, okay And I took you and I was like, okay And time to knock up, I was like, yes Cause, cause um, the, 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 the classroom that I was What do you guys do? Dibbles? What? Do you guys do dibbles? dibbles? Like where they test your reading. Um, I do. Do you do dibbles? Yeah, I think I think that's what I did today, dibbles. Sit back, Taylor. That's <laughs> cool. This is after school hair. I didn't take my buns out. Good.
was dumb.